Hola, welcome to today's Paint With Me Live. Um, it is Shane and Jameson here at Junktique in Clovis, New Mexico, 519 North Main Street. Um, today we are going to be staining the top of this with chalk paint. Not painting it, but staining it. So we will literally be using the paint as a wood stain. Now this works very well with chalk paint because it is so highly pigmented. I mean, that is one of the most differentiating factors between um, Annie Sloan's paint versus others is that it is so highly pigmented. Um, and because it's so highly pigmented, you can do all kinds of things with it, whether it's painting fabric or dip dyeing fabric or staining wood. Um, it's also why the coverage is top notch. Anyways, the things you'll need for this is bare wood. This is key. You need raw wood. Um, an Annie, well you don't need an Annie Sloan paintbrush, but I strongly suggest it. This is the Annie Sloan medium round natural bristle brush. I have a can of Athenian black. This one's a little beat up, but paint in it is gravy. You're also going to need a bucket. Uh, I guess I'll put that on camera. <laughs> it's ridiculous though, this huge bucket. You're gonna need a bucket. You don't need one this big and ridiculous, but it's the only thing we could find on short notice. My other bucket uh, kicked the bucket um, and a rag. Whoa, that was in the bucket, that was in the water. Water everywhere. Um, yeah. <laughs> Brain spaced. So, as always, any questions, le uh, let us know in the comments. And also, please let us know where you guys are watching from in the comments. Um, that's super cool. Me and Jameson get a really good kick out of uh, where everybody's watching from. And also, know that you can get all of these products online straight from me. Um, at www.junkteak.net. Um, Jameson's going to pin that in the comments here sometime soon. Um, and definitely take advantage of that. Right now, if you enter code HELP SMALL, all orders over $79.99 ship for free. Um, yeah, you want to bring the camera closer? Yep. And if you see me randomly looking up, it's because I've got a screen and I can see. Okay, so as I, as, I, as I said, this is bare wood. We sanded it down. Um, it had a really, really bad paint job on it. Um, latex gumminess. And this is really easy. So, you're going to get your paint and your brush again. I always get asked halfway through what paint am I using. I'm using Annie Sloan's chalk paint, of course, and Athenian black. So what you're going to do is you're going to paint this on just like normal. Now I really like using these brushes for this because it's really, really easy to work it deep into all of the graining. That's such a pretty black. Wow. Let's do another little bit. Again, like I said, you want to work it into the grains really good. You don't want to miss any bits. I'm always shocked when you paint with that color because it really is black. It's black. <laughs> okay, so then 
you're going to take your wet rag, you're going to come back. Now this is the amazing part. I'm going to use all of this paint and I'm going to grab these edges. I can't see in front of it. Am I getting it all getting up there? Most of it, yeah. Well, I don't want most of it. I want all of it. Is it all gotten? No, not yet. Here, you want to hand me your rag and I'll grab this Just tell me where. Here, here. Anyways, I'll come back to that. So, like I said, you're just going to kind of scrub that off. Come back. This is a huge cloth. And ta-da! You want to capture a different angle from that? Maybe try and hit it from the front? Yeah, let's see here what we can show. So you have the front, which is done. And you have that back little slip that I haven't done yet. You want to zoom in and see if you can see them grains. The great thing about this is, again, you're using it as a stain, so you don't lose any of the wood grains. And it's... Oh, it's so much more forgiving than stain is. It doesn't stink. It's not sticky. It doesn't get everywhere. And you don't have to wait 24 hours for it to dry. This will be ready and good to go for me to either wax it or put Annie's lacquer on it in, what, 15, maybe 20 minutes? Yeah, that's my favorite part about it. Is you don't got to wait 24 to 48 hours to put your top coat on it. No. It's good to go. Again, you want to work it into the grain really, really good. Ashley said, oh, wow, I love it. Well, thank you, Ashley. It's super, super, super easy to do. I, and I can't get it across enough that there's no smell because, of course, it's chalk paint. And it's not all messy. It's not sticky. It doesn't ruin brushes. It doesn't require like mineral spirits or paint thinner to uh, clean brushes afterwards. It's just soap and water cleanup. I'm gonna go ahead and go over the whole thing one more time. And you have like, I don't know how to really say that. My brain is just blah. Um, you have really good control over it. So, I mean, if you want it darker, do it again. If you want it lighter, when you're uh, scrubbing the actual paint off, scrub really hard, and you'll take most of it off. It's also great if you want to, like, layer looks, layer stains. For instance, I could do it really dark like this with the black, and then I could go over it once it's dry with the white, um, and it'll kind of have, like, a, a limed look on stained wood. See how fast that's drying? That's yeah. already drying. I see. And it's fun. We play around with colored stains. You can do all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. I like using Emperor Silk for a red stain. Or Florence for kind of a turquoisey aqua stain. Let me 
me that spray bottle, please. All of these other Annie Sloan people watching are going to be jealous once they see just how fast things really dry here in New Mexico. I know. <laughs> yeah, it dries fast. Because uh, you can see it really well, the sheen, the differences in sheen on this video. Now, you don't have to do what I'm doing. Um, I just want to keep it super workable. So what I'm doing is I'm spraying it with water. Because I want to make sure that I have scrubbed it as far into these grains as possible. And this piece of wood did have a rather, rather wider grain than normal. Very heavy grain. Okay. You also don't have to wear gloves, but I kind of figured that with the coronavirus going on, you know, when every time I use this as a stain, it always stains my fingernail beds for like a week. And I figured with the coronavirus and everything, that probably would be a horrible thing. <laughs> People see yeah. my hands and say, oh my gosh, you haven't washed your hands in a month. No, I just was playing with paint. Whoa, whoa, whoa there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Kim says, oh, you're washing your hands now, LOL. <laughs> yes, Kim. I always wash my hands. But like I said, it doesn't look like it if I don't wear gloves when doing this. Now, like I said, this, this is the fun part with this is this you can create exactly what kind of look you want. Like say I wanted this to look aged, I could leave it kind of darker around these edges here. Um, and it'll have kind of like a vignette look. Um, or, I mean there's so many things you can do. So many things you can do. I mean, this right here is like chalk paint wonder product. Like, I'm not even kidding. I hate staining. I absolutely hate staining. So I really don't mind doing this. Uh, Galen's asking what you're wiping it with. A black cloth rag. Um, old t-shirt. We save all our old t-shirts and bring them here and cut them up. <laughs> yeah, it, it's actually one of the old junk t-shirts that I'm, I'm wearing. Um, just a black rag. Nothing fancy. See, I think I'm going to leave it like that. What are your thoughts? No, oh, I like it. I think since this is going to turn into farmhouse coffee bar, it'll be perfect. Can you zoom in and see that? Like, go from the top. Let's see what I can show here. So there's the edges, the little... So as you can see, I have left it darker on the edges, kind of framing it in, looking... So it essentially looks like its original stain was really dark. And now this has a topper that sits on it. And it looks like this area has been used a whole lot over the years. So it's kind of like an aged stain. Well, Jocelyn asked what you're doing. Galen said, ha, thanks. Karen said, yes, leave it. And Kim said, I love it. Well, thanks, y'all. Thanks, everybody. I'm going to lighten up some of this in the middle. You see what I mean, though? Like, it's yeah. totally... You can totally do whatever you want with it. You can do that with stain, too. You can. But it's much, much harder. It almost looks like it was burnt. Ooh. Which is all the rage right now, too. That's what, especially this front bit that you just did. Now, I did this with Athenian black, and it looks like wood. 
Um, you can also do some with Han Floor or On Floor. The H is technically silent, um, which is uh, Annie's chocolatey brown, and it'll look like like wood, wood, wood. You can mix colors. Like what one makes mahogany? It's like um, Aubusson and burgundy mixed together before you brush it on, and then when you brush it on and you wipe it off, it looks like mahogany. So pretty. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. I like the look of graphite, um, too. Some of the purples are really pretty. Annie's new Athenian black has been my go-to for this since it came out, because it comes out just so rich and dark. Like, and that's really almost fully dry. Mm -hmm. I can see a little bit of wetness here where I left it thick, but for the most part, that's almost fully dry. That's the thing everybody needs to grab, is it's almost dry. Which means here in 15 minutes or so, I can wax it. Or I can put Annie's lacquer on it. Or, I mean, you could put a urethane or whatever on it, but the lacquer's the bomb.com, and the wax is probably the direction I'll go, because it's extremely durable. Um, do I need anything else? Can you see any areas that I should change up? No, I, I really kind of like it. No, I do too. Okay, it's one of those the imperfections make it... The imperfections are what make it beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm going to zoom back in here. So, like I said... If you have raw wood, or you have a dresser top, or something that you want to stain, I just did this in less than the time, less than the length of this video, because I have talked a lot. <laughs> um, so that's really how fast and easy it is. Um, as always, any questions, leave them in the comments, or shoot me a message. Um, brain spaced again. It's a long, it's been a long day. It's near the end of the day. Um, I have a Zoom meeting party to get to with my friend Maria. So I'm going to leave it there. If you need any Annie Sloan products, we are open. You can make an appointment to come in. I am happy to show you this, that, and everything else. Um, you can also get products on my website at www.junkteak.net. Um, I guess that's everything. Bye. Bye, guys.